Hello everyone, I thought I'd switch the camera on today and do something with the collage masterboard that I made three or four weeks ago. Um, I absolutely love this masterboard. The colours are just so bright and vibrant. It's just cram-packed with absolutely all sorts, jelly prints, um, pieces of gift wrap, wallpaper, ledger paper, just absolutely all sorts. And the focal images um, I used here were little mini collages that I'd made using the Dina Wakely Media Media Collective. Let me just show you that. This is the Dina Wakely Media Collective that I've had in my stash for, oh, two, two and a half years, something like that. I can't even remember when it first came out, but it's just so beautiful that I've had a really hard time cutting it up and doing anything with it. I did end up buying two of these as well, shamefully, because I knew that I would have such a hard time. But I ended up just playing one day in the first lockdown that we had, just making some little mini collages using just little tiny scraps from um, this book. This is an example of one of the mini collages that I made and you can see here that I've got um, a tiny scrap from the book. I've got um, a piece of book paper, a tiny slither here of that wrapping paper, some of the Dina Wakely um, tissue paper as well, collage paper she calls it. It comes in a pack like, um, like this with several different um, designs in it so you can see that I've used some of that there as well. Here's a small piece of it um, here. Um, then I just used um, a little circle from the collage sheet as well. I fussy cut some of these out um, and just made these beautiful little mini collages, you know, with no purpose in mind, just because it was fun to do at the time. And when we were all locked down at first, it was just a very difficult time. Um, here's another one. This is just purely black and white book paper. Well, various types of uh, book paper, some pol gold polka dot tissue paper here, that same gift wrap. Um, and for instance, if I wanted to jazz this up a bit, I could put put um, another piece of that Dina Wakely um, media paper on there like that just to add some colour. So these are just fun mini collages that um, that anybody could make. I mean, you don't have to have the media collective. Um, you could do this with, with any type of, of bold, bright scrapbooking paper. Now, I photocopied my masterboard because, as you all know by now, I like to work on photocopies and keep the originals just so that I can keep printing them out time and time again. Also, with collage as well, I just find these a bit bulky and difficult to work with whereas the photocopies this is just photocopied on my inkjet printer at home onto 200 gsm cardstock and you can barely tell the difference but it's just much easier to work on now i have cut one of these into several different um pieces mini pieces to use for tags and that kind of thing journaling cards um, for instance this one here has come from there this one has come from there. Let me just try and piece this together just so that you can see where all the bits and pieces have come from. That one's come from the bottom left hand corner. That one has come from from there and this one here like this. So I've now got several different pieces to to work on. Um, so which one shall we start off using first? Perhaps let's try something with um, with these two, perhaps. This one here doesn't need very much doing to it at all. Um, it just needs some kind of focal image. And I've got some um, ideas. I've pulled out this Bow Bunny um, little die cut set. I picked this up for £1.50 at the craft fair oh, a couple of years ago. In the days before COVID, when we were allowed to go to craft um, shows and that kind of thing. But I thought I might find um, something in here. Maybe a butterfly or a heart um, or something. You see, we've got this butterfly here um, that's perhaps a bit a bit too big that one is definitely too big don't like any of these we've got that butterfly there hmm don't like that it gets a bit um a bit lost that one there works um, I like the colors um, in that one it really picks out the green so that one there is a possibility We've got this little butterfly here that is too small. I think there's another one of those. I wonder if we could um, stack two, two together. No, it's too busy. It, it just gets lost. Let me just have a flick through here and see, see what else I can find. Here's another one. You see that? That might work as well. Again, the colours um, in that one go really well together. We've got this that we could maybe have somewhere. The yellow goes goes really well. What else have we we got? 
we've got um, a heart here that is too small live again the colors go really well there perhaps we could have a little sentiment as well as a butterfly there's also another one here then and now we've got high hmm not so keen keen on that and that little heart there is quite cute um, as well so let me have a play around with this and see um, what i can come up with now, so far, I've narrowed it down to the butterfly and this little sentiment here, but I've also got my heart punch and this piece of black and white paper. And I thought maybe I could um, punch out a heart if I can get it in the right place. This little piece of paper here is rather on the, the small side. Here we go. I am. Oh, no, I've moved it. I am going to go for it. Punch. Yep, there we go. Let's see what um, what this looks like. I might need to mount this on a piece of uh, black cardstock if I use it. No, it's too small. It just gets um, gets lost. So I think it is going to be the butterfly. Now, we've got no antenna on this butterfly, so I've got some brass wire here. This is 0.8 millimeter brass wire. I'm just going to cut off a small piece. Here we go. Don't need very much. And I'm going to use my round nose pliers here just to bend these over just to make um, some antenna. Hang on, I need another pair of pliers just to um, flatten it. So I've got my box of pliers just down um, to my right hand side. So I'm just going to flatten this here like, like so. And then I just want to bend these slightly. I don't mind if um, if one one side of the antenna is slightly longer than the other, perhaps not by that much though. And I'm just going to glue this on here like this, just using some glossy, glossy accents or diamond glaze in my case, because that will glue really, really quickly. So it'll go there like that. Let me just grab um, a piece of uh, deli paper to catch the glue. So I'm just going to turn my butterfly upside down. Um, it's going to be glued on there like, like that. So I'm just going to pop some glue on here like this. Quite a, a generous amount. There we are. And then... glue that on like that and then I'm just going to have to stick this to one side now um, for that glue to dry it will glue really really quickly and then we've got ourselves a cute little butterfly with some antenna perhaps I can have those poking out um, just a, a little bit um, higher and I'm just going to use a paper clip or a bulldog clip just to hold hold it in place until the glue has set just like that Whilst my butterfly is drying, I'm going to do something with this one here. And again, I want to keep this really simple. I've cut out another one of the hearts. In this pad, you get 60 double-sided um, uh, pages, 30 sheets of 120 GSM and 30 sheets of 270 GSM. So I've cut out one of the heavier weight butterflies from the same design sheet, um, this here. And I'm just going to fussy cut um, this out. And I just want to use this as my focal image so I'm just going to try and carefully fussy cut fussy cut this heart out like like this and then we'll try and do something creative with this to use as a focal image now what I'm thinking is that I can use my scoreboard um, just to make a crease down the center of the heart let me just um, line it up so I'm just going to make a crease down here like this and that will just allow me to um, fold the butterfly just give it a bit and um, the heart even got butterflies on the brain just give it a bit of dimension you'll still be able to see the heart that's underneath um, as well and I do want to ink around the edges just to get rid of the white edge of the paper so I'm just going to use my stays on ink to do that and it will just help darken it um, as well so we'll use a bit of ink and then I'm thinking that I might even run this through my sewing machine. I've got a nice pale grey thread in there at the moment um, which might work quite well. Um, I think what I will do is just add a tiny amount of glue stick. Where's it gone? Here we go. Here's my crit 
Pritt stick. So let's fold this over. I'm just going to use a small amount of glue here just to hold hold that in place. Let me just pop pop that on. Oh, hang on. Let's just get rid of that blobby of glue there. And I'm just going to whiz this through the sewing machine just down the centre here as well, because I think those threads will just add a really, really nice touch. And then we can decide what we want to do with the edges and the um, the top. So I shall be back in a moment. Oh, I've sewn the heart. I love the way that that looks. Um, stitching just adds so much in my opinion. Now we need something in the bottom um, right-hand corner here. So I fussy cut one of these little um, circles from this um, collage sheet here. And I just need to decide where I want that um, to go. Do I want it there like that or that way up? Oh, decisions, decisions. Um, let me just decide what orientation have we got everything else. I think I want it to go um, in this direction here because everything else is, is going vertically. Or do I? No, I think I do quite like it um, there like that. So again, I'm just going to use a little bit of glue stick and glue that down. Don't overthink it, Nina. It doesn't really matter. Just uh, plop it, plonk it down. There. There, like, like that. And that just adds a nice touch of detail. I think I do want it um, just a bit, a bit lower down. That's perfect. I like that. Um, and I don't know whether I want to turn this into a card topper at this stage or turn it into a tag. So for the time being, I'm just going to leave it um, as it is. Let's see if the butterfly is, is dry. Yep, that's absolutely fine. So bring back the um, other card. I want um, that to go on there like like that I think I'll use some of my three in one to glue that down and I do want this to have a bit of um, dimension as well so I'm just going to add the glue just to the center of the the butterfly just a bit to the side um, as well just to make sure that 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 sticks we'll have him there I think and then I decided as well that um, I quite liked this then and now which could go on the bottom color wise it works it works really well we're picking out the um, pinks as well as the greens so let's put that down as well and again I don't know whether I want to have this one as um, a tag or a card topper um, I, I think I'll leave it until I decide where I want these um, to go There, I wanted that there, there, like, like that. Isn't that cute? I'm really pleased with how those two look. Aren't they cute? Now, I've decided what I'm going to do with these um, remaining pieces is layer them together. I've just got um, an idea for this. Um, how am I going to do it? Because I do think I want to um, whiz it through the sewing machine um, again as well. I will layer this like like so that's the same height so i just want to make sure that um, i've got that fairly even i'm going to glue this one on here like um like this i want a bit of the floral edge showing i do want it to go down to the black at the bottom i just want to make sure that um, i get that straight so again we'll glue that down there like like that yep that's good and then this one here on top so that it balances um, the top out. And again, I, I know exactly where I want to position this one here as well. We'll have that one, that one about there. I just want to centralise it between the top and the bottom. There we go. And I'm just going to whiz this through the sewing machine. Um, maybe have some stitching um, here, maybe some here as well, and perhaps some here. Um, just to hold everything in place. Now, I don't know whether you can see, I've got a bit of stitching here, here and here. I just really like the way that that looks. Now, before I choose a focal image, I want to do something with this. I want to make a background with it. It had some paper clips, as you can see, but I just absolutely love this um, background, which I thought might look qu uh, quite nice. But we need to do something with the centre. I'm just going to start off by chopping um, this in half. 
Now this one here is a bit flatter, um, so I think I'll use um, this one instead. I've also got um, a, well, not polka dot, but um, black and white envelope anyway that um, came with a card that my son had sent me. And I'm just going to trim this um, down just to fit this white space here. So let's have a look, let's grab a pencil. And so I'm just going to take this off to my trimmer and trim this here like so. so let's have a look have i cut this to the right size yes i have thank goodness for that so i'm just going to get rid of my pencil pencil marks where's the where's the other one there we go and so i can just glue that down onto the background i think i'll do that first i've just used a glue stick to do that so i'm just going to burnish this down get rid of any glue marks. Um, Use a razor to get rid of glue marks. It works an absolute um, treat. Let's see if we can cover, cover that up. Yep, you see that's fine. Now I do think that um, I want to take a smidge off the um, edge of this here, just so that we've got more of the black and white showing at the side, just so that it's less top and bottom heavy. Now I've just taken this off to the sewing machine and added a bit of stitching um, there as well. So that's what it looks like. And I've decided for the focal image on this one, I'm going to add this other little butterfly there and I've made myself another antenna, which I shall pop on there like that. I do want to add some stitching down the center of the butterfly before I glue it down though. I did my stitching to my butterfly and I just want to um, stick it down. So now to decide where I want it to, um, to go. You see, I I do quite like it um, on an angle which is not like me at all because normally I like things in straight lines but whether I can actually bring myself to do it I don't know I'm going to have a play around with this and then I'll come back and show you what I've decided to do but I should just glue it down with some three in one Whilst I'm waiting for the glue to dry on the butterfly I want to pop these into my usual scraps journal um, when I originally made the masterboard where's the original you can see that I used some scraps of the gift wrap that I use to decorate my journal cover so the intention always was to have some of these um, in here now I did find a perfect piece of paper that I thought would work with these I think they look really nice on this background and I'm not going to add any other elements of collage I think that these are busy enough as they are for me to be able to get away with just sticking these down like that I love the peach um, that follows through from this paper that's um, underneath I really really like that and then the other one is going to go on the other side here um, and because we've got more of this teal colour um, I think that one works best with with that page there so I'm just going to stick those down using a mixture of glue stick and three in one do like how those pages look and I just love the fact that they match with the cover as well so really happy with those now pop that off to one side because I found um, some more scraps here and I've got um, an idea for what I want to do with this I want to layer these these were just little scraps that I had left over again playing around with the Dina Wakely um, bits and bobs I'm just going to stick that down there like like that I just think that the um, additional crimp any colour um, just works really well. So I've added some glue stick onto the back here and I want to line it up with this mark here. Yep, there we go. That will that will do fine. Use my bone folder just to position that down. And those layers just look really nice together. I love that gold polka dot and um, tissue paper. Um, so, right, okie dokie. Now, I found the perfect spot for this in this journal. I don't know whether you can remember, there is a little tiny page um, in the middle of one of these signatures. And I think it's going to go really well. The colours, look, are just absolutely perfect. Another butterfly. So we've got a bit of a butterfly theme going on here. Now, this is slightly too big. Um, so I just want to trim it just on um, the edges slightly. I'm going to trim this one first, then glue it down, and then I can trim the top and the bottom. But I don't want to lose too much of this on the right-hand side. Yep, you see, that's, um, that's good good for me. We've got the right um, width. So I'm just going to add my glue to this page here because it will be, it will be easier. So I'm going to apply the glue there like 
like that. And then I just want to centralise it. Let's just have plenty down the centre. I just want to centralise it so that I've got um, an even amount to trim top top and bottom. There we go, about there. That will do fine. So we can just press that down with the bone folder. Just make sure that that grabs. Just really press against those edges. And then I'm just going to trim this off um, as well. And hopefully that's a nice little inside page um, for that. I might see if I can find another one actually or something to go with it on the on the left. Now I've also found this scrap that I was playing with um, earlier that would fit on here. It's a bit short. I also had this um, that I was going to add to it. Um, I do like the idea of having the repeat of this pattern and I'm just wondering whether I can add some of these circles onto the other onto the other side. Let's have a have a look perhaps we can just patch this up a little bit just to make it um, make it fit because that's not um, a bad a bad size I think that's what um, what I'm going to do I think that will look really nice and tie these two pages together so yeah that's it so I'm just going to glue a little bit of that tissue paper on first how much do I want let's have a let's have a look there we go, about there. Where's my uh, bone folder gone? So I'm just going to trim around this. And then this one here then is the perfect size. I'm going to have to trim the edges off, but I think that will work um, quite well. So I'm going to glue that down um, next. I'll just add the, in fact, if I do it this way around, it might be um, easier. Let me just get plenty into that edge. Edge there, like that overlap it slightly. I can always add a bit more glue to the edge if I if I need to. Let me just line that up with that um that edge. There we are. Make sure that that's going to um, fold nicely as well. I might need a bit more glue on this side here. Let me just peel peel that up and then have a fresh piece of deli paper. I'm just going to add a bit more glue to that um, edge there like like that and I'm just going to trim the top um, and the and the bottom these little mini collages are just so fun and I think with a touch of colour here something like that we'll just finish that off um, really nicely I've also dug out um, another one of these circles as well which I thought I might stick there hanging over the edge just so that it doesn't look as if that's been stuck on as um, an afterthought so again I'm just going to stick that down with my glue stick and I'm just going to try and line it up now between the edges of, of this one this one here there we go that's that's fine and we'll stick stick this one on um, as well these are a bit fiddly because the tissue paper is so thin there we are and let's have that like like that i really like how that looks I wanted a little quote to go here and there are some words in this collage pack here so in the Dina Wakely media collage paper pack and there was one that said be radiant which I've just cut out and glued down to a piece of white cardstock just so that it um, stands out and I'm going to have that there so that finishes that little um, page off nicely as well butterflies glued down really nicely and bring back the background that I want to use I've cut myself a piece of mixed media paper just slightly longer but the same width as this card here just because I feel that um, the background as it is is just a bit um, top and bottom heavy still and this will just fill that gap and just balance everything out um, a bit better I love how that looks and so I'm going to glue this down first and then glue this down um, on top like that and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with it next. It's all dry now and I've just had this weighted down underneath a heavy book for a minute or two and let me show you what I'm going to do with it. I've got one of these black spiral bound um, scrapbooking journals. You pick these up from Hobbycraft here in the UK. This is eight by eight. I used to use these all the time in my old art journal prompts days. Um, I'd work loose leaf and just glue my pages straight onto the um, black paper. Just love working with these. But this just goes absolutely beautifully as um, a topper for this journal. So I'm going to glue it down there 
just like that. I've used red score tape to um, stick this. It's nice and neat um, and easy without um, any glue going over the edges. I'm just going to take the red backing off with my pokey tool. Stick this down like, like that. That is beautiful. I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm calling that done for today. I'm really pleased with the things that I've managed to make. This was quite a quirky um, masterboard and something completely different to ones that I've done in the past, but I just love how I've managed to use them, both for this and the pages that I've created um, inside here as well. Let me just uh, remind you of the pages. I just love that little um, centre spread. And of course, we've got these ones here as well. Love those, um, love those too. Where's the other side of it? Here we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. And, um, you know, I hope it's given you some ideas as to the kind of things that you can do with your own collage masterboards. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up because as I always say, it really does let YouTube know that you like um, what I'm doing. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.